Hello there. My name is Daryl. I am your critic. Welcome to Album of the Day Online. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to do something called the Speed Round or Lightning Reviews. I'm going to be. Uh, I have my lovely and talented assistant, otherwise known as my lovely and talented wife. Uh, she grabbed ten albums out of my extensive collection at random. She didn't even really care what she grabbed because she, she doesn't care. Um, and she's going to give me uh, 15 seconds each, and I have to review them in under 15 seconds or no more than 15 seconds each. So that's going to start in a second. And I, I just want to say one thing. Um, I'm not saying that I have mystical powers and that I can affect the universe at large, but I just got some very exciting uh, news yesterday that Robert Plant and the Pixies are going to be touring together for the North American leg of Robert's tour um, supporting his recent release, Lullaby and the Ceaseless Roar. Now, if you recall, last week, or in the first few episodes, I reviewed both the latest album from Robert Plant and the Pixies. So, is there a correlation? Am I somehow putting energy out into the universe, and it's causing two of my favorite acts to tour together? You're coming to, for those of you who are in southern Ontario, like I am, they're going to be playing in Toronto in June. Uh, go to robertplant.com or pixies.com uh, for more details. Um, anyways, I just want to say, you're welcome. All right, so lightning round, and go. All right, uh, Megadeth, Peace Sells But Who's Buying. Um, very, very good thrash metal, speed metal album. Uh, contains uh, such wake, uh, such wonderful uh, al uh, songs as uh, Peace Sells, of course, the title track. Uh, really worth checking out if you want uh, history of metal. Uh, Sabotage, okay, all right. Sabotage, Streets of Rock Opera. This is literally uh, a rock opera. Um, it has a narrative, it tells a story, um, excellent guitar solos. Uh, Chris Oliva, I'm, I'm very sorry that you um, are gone. Thank you, Dan Nielsen, for introducing me to this band. Uh, Robert Plant, another Robert Plant record. Uh, Fate of Nations, this was his 1993 release. It contained um, the ballad 29 Palms, which kept him sort of in the top 40 limelight. It's a good record. I recommend it. Um, Oh, an Indies Camp compilation. This was put up by PIA Records in uh, the early 90s. It contains a bunch of uh, Hamilton and Southern Ontario indie acts from that time. Uh, that's all I can really say about it. Ah, Matthew Good's Hospital Music. This album uh, Matthew put out um, when he had gone through um, a bout of depression and he had been he self-hospitalized and he wrote an album about it. It is um, sparse and beautiful and depressing. Sloan, Twice Removed, uh, another Canadian band. Um, this is my favorite album from Sloan. Twice Removed is the best album they've ever put out. Um, I'm slowly discovering from the rest of their career that they are a good band that managed to put out one fantastic album. Uh, Pantera, Far Beyond Driven. Pantera, um, Diamond Daryl uh, shares my name. Um, he's a much better guitar player than I am, and unfortunately, he was killed on stage uh, a few a few years ago by a crazy fan. It's very, uh, very, very good. Weezer, Make Believe, uh, has the um, the Beverly Hills track on it. Um, what can I say about Weezer? This is part of their, you know, their 2000s collection, and it uh, it's okay. Van Halen, Diver Down. Um, I just mentioned Van Halen yesterday. This is their worst album with David Lee Roth, uh, although it does contain um, little guitars and uh, a fun version of Happy Trails. And, oh, geez, wow. Pink Floyd, The Wall. What can I say about Pink Floyd's The Wall? Um, Roger Waters, we get it. You were sad. Your dad wasn't around. You built a wall around your heart. Enough with the metaphor. We get it. Um, is it a great record? Oh! Done. That was the speed round. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Go out, discover some new music, and for goodness sake, stop illegally downloading music. Go out and buy it. If you have to buy it on a, uh, you know, using your computer, um, that's better. Uh, than not paying for it, but I strongly recommend you go and still get something physical. That new CD smell is like ambrosia to me. <laughs> My name is Daryl Bianco. I've been your critic today.